So um, a lot of people have been asking me about one of the videos that I did before where I was talking about how you could open multiple instances of Raid and play on multiple accounts, do whatever you need to do, make things a lot more efficient. And the main thing that you want to probably use this for is to do the Chrono missions, which is what I did. And some people were commenting saying, hey, this doesn't work anymore. But uh, I, I wanted to show you guys that it still does. Uh, as you can see, I, I still have, uh, you know, obviously one account open here. And then a separate account open here. And I, I guess I could show you guys exactly what I'm doing so you guys can see. Now, originally, I just would click here, open up player and play. And you can see that this or this area shows up. So it's player and play. Here this shows up in the task manager. If you don't know how to access the task manager, you can come here to the search bar and type in task manager, or you can right click and type in uh, task manager on the, uh, what do you call it? This is called the um, the drop down menu bar, task bar. All right. And so over here, you're gonna see, oh, let me see if I can click and drag this over here. Over here, you're going to see that this uh, player in play opens up and it says here that you can continue playing or you can switch. So, you know, I'm going to switch over here to my uh, main account and um, it says welcome back and then you can click play. And obviously it's going to open up. It might take a minute, but it's it'll it'll open up. And this is a pretty useful tool if. Uh, you ever do try to do Chronum, or if you're trying to get a lot of work done, if you're addicted to raid and you want to spend a bunch, then or like spend more time and get more done, then this is probably one of the best ways to do it. The other thing you could do is blue stacks open multiple instances of raid on blue stacks, and so you see right here it shows up again. On Polarium Play, it's connecting. And this is the new one that's about to open up. So we're going to place this right here. And boom, I'm in another account, my main account here. And uh, yeah, I mean, there's not pretty, there's pretty much uh, nothing else to it. Um, and I guess if you wanted to go ahead and open a fourth account or a, a fourth instance here, you could totally do that as well. And all you would have to do is just, uh, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, someone did comment and mention that maybe we had to do something first. So if you're, if you're struggling with this and it's just not working for you, maybe, I don't know, do a dungeon run real quick. Uh, so let's go ahead and try, well, let's try one without a dungeon run. Sorry, I just woke up, so I'm a little slow. Now, I don't know if it's either or, like this player in play instance or this player in play that's showing up on the task manager. So I guess we'll try this one down here and we're gonna click end task and nothing closed out. In fact, nothing closed out here either. So this this needs to show this needs to shut down in order to uh, in order for you to uh, open up another instance, right? So let's click this. It clicks it clicks off. It goes away. And that allows us to open up player and play again. It shows up here. And uh, boom. A new one opened up over here. And let me go ahead and log in here. And while we're doing that, while we're waiting for this to open up, we can go ahead and search around. I've been waiting for a six-star Rotos because uh, my Rotos here is in sore need. Of a, and there you go. So now we have a total of four instances of uh, raid. I've been trying to get, like, get the best Rotos that I can. So right now there's a plus two, looking for plus five, and yeah. And here's the giveaway account. If you don't know, I am going to be giving away this account right here. 
when I do get closer to about 2,000 subs. So right now I'm at like 1810 or 1820, something like that. When I get to around like 1900 or something, then I'll put a video out saying, hey guys, when this gets to 2000, I'm going to go ahead and give this account away. And this is kind of like I put screenshots, uh, screenshots up on uh, a community post. So if you want to check out that community post on my channel, go ahead. But like this is a pretty sick account. Rodos, Siffy, Yumiko, Two Arbiters, Inithui, Blood Twin, uh, Beauty and the Beast not here. We got Warlord. We have two Trundas, Michinaki, uh, Cupidus with a relatively high star blessing. We got the uh, Corvus the Corruptor here that I used to solo uh, dragon we've got lydia so faction wars is complete uh double duchess plus four uh empowered epics basically so this is a pretty sick account and all you guys got to do is get me to 2000 subs uh as a, a thank you for as far as you guys have gotten me you know me i, I never ask for subs or anything uh but you know this is not really me asking for subs. It's more of like an incentive. Like, hey, if you guys want a chance at getting this account, then uh, go ahead. Also, it's halfway through the Chrono mission. So all you got to do is three more accounts and then you get the Chrono. And these last three accounts actually aren't too difficult to do because you only have to get to level 40, which doesn't take as long as getting to level 50. So there's that. And um, yeah, well, I guess I could show you guys what, what it could do or what it can do in the dungeons. So right now, stage 15. But I think we're going to have to rework some teams because I was actually reworking some teams here. And uh, I didn't like this initial team, so I was going to redo this team. But uh, with all the accounts that I'm running, I have like three accounts. These are like my th three main accounts. I was like, this is wait, take, this is taking up too much time. And I've got other things to do, so, um, yeah. And with Clan Boss is obviously, I think it's still, oh, I'm still working on this one. So, um, yeah, uh, I did a video on doing a, making this Clan Boss team with Eris, and I think the main issue here is Oboro doesn't have her masteries yet, so I was gonna get masteries for Oboro, and for when you go up against spirit then you're going to want to use this team here with arrow but like you, there's still some min maxing to do in order to get it but it's it's just shy of a one key on unm but for nightmare uh it's a it's a one key so and i'll just show you what it, what it does against the a regular fight right now and sorry if i'm a, I'm a little slow here i just woke up and i don't want to edit or anything i just want to have my coffee but I wanted to get this video out because people were asking about it. And uh, yeah, so let's see here. Uh, yeah, so that's that's a, that's a, this is basically a two key. But the main issue here is that where is Oboro? Oboro is one not in like the best gear yet. Right there. And also, she's got no masteries. So once once she gets masteries, I'm pretty sure she can fill up the rest of that uh, required, uh, what do you call it, uh, damage. And then once you get better gear, her, gear on her as well. But yeah, there's, there's that. And then, oh, let me show you guys. Last one, dungeons. Like, on hard for Ice Golem. I don't think we've touched hard here yet, but Spider is one of the easier dungeons to do. And stage 10, hard mode. It's capable, but uh, I was going to rework things. In fact, if you take over this account, I would build out Corvus and regen and have him solo stage 10. And then uh, Fire Knight could use some work. Phantom Shogun could use some work. And the sand devil could use some work as well but yeah oops <laughs>